Uh, well, it's nice and cold in here today. I'm going to get the lathe warmed up. It's still not, it's not even 60 in here yet. I've been warming up for, yeah, it's 58.8. So I'm just going to get the oil flowing on the bearings here at 100 RPM. And then we'll move it up to about 360 RPM, warm it up, slowly warm it up. I take care of my machines. And uh, this is the way it is. So I warm my bearings up and get them in the tolerance. And we'll, we'll start at 100. Just let this thing just get a little, little, uh, little oil on the bearings. And then we'll move it up to 360, then 500, then 840. And then we'll get to turning some uh, stainless steel today. So let's get busy. Hello. For all you don't know who I am, my name is Jeff. Um, I decided to do, it seems like, uh, people were interested in the muzzle threading. So I decided to do a 308, uh, barrel blank, imitation barrel blank. I took a piece of three, uh, three or four stainless steel that was 750 in diameter. And I turned it down to our major diameter for the thread for a 308, <clears throat> a threaded muzzle, <clears throat> excuse me, pulmonary fibrosis. Again, I, Guess I should be putting this out at the beginning of every video because it uh I keep forgetting to do that. I'm terminally ill. I have pulmonary fibrosis, and a lot of the symptoms come out when I'm doing these videos. Um, I need to get a lung transplant. So I'm uh I'm in the midst of fighting for my life. And uh at the same time, I figured, you know, with things going the way they are, I would try this, try doing YouTube videos. Um I'm torn die. Uh, my background's torn die. I've been machining for <laughs> forever, literally my entire life. Um, grew up in, a, in an aviation machine shop, literally, <laughs> and uh, ended up in a company and uh, in torn die. That's what I've been doing my whole life. So let's get on with this. Um, so what I decided to do was take just three or four stainless steel, and most firearm barrels are, are four sixteen stainless. Um, so it's not quite the same stainless. Uh, three or four is a whore <laughs> that's that's how three or four is described it's a tough stainless steel um it's harder to machine in 416 but that's what i had here i did not have a barrel blank so i came up with something that looked like a barrel and it absolutely does 750 in diameter um we turned down the, to our major od and we put the um 5 8 24 thread on it and uh that's usually what uh, uh three, 308 or 30 cows are are threaded the muzzle are threaded with is a 5824. So we did that. I have a few numbers on the board that I'm gonna actually turn this camera around. I hope I can get this. It's on a tripod right now and it's on a gimbal so it should be smooth. But if it's not I apologize. This thing uh can be a little contrary at times. But there's our numbers. I actually have numbers up there for for 308 and 5.56 millimeter, 9 millimeter, 223 at the that's your half inch that's at the top right there. And we're going to ignore that. I was going to do both. But I already did a, um, a half 28 in the other muzzle thread video. So I figured I'd do a 308 in stainless steel. In actual stainless steel. So we did it. So we're going to get busy here. I'm going to get the, get the material in the lathe. And we're going to begin by, you know, indicating in, doing, doing all the prep, preparation that we have to do. And we're going to get busy on this video of a 5824 muzzle thread. Okay, so we're in the camera threads per inch. Our undercut's done. Our tool is set to diameter. And we are ready to do a first pass here. So let's go over here and see where, on the, th where the threading dial wants to be for a 24 thread. I already know where it is. It's anywhere. Right here, indicator table. 24. It can be any number on the threading dial that we can start on, which is right here. And I'm always choose number one. So we're going to start on number one. And let's do our first pass. Let's get this done while we're videoing here. So we're going to do our first threading pass. And we're at 625 is our diameter. And we're then going to do 10. So we're going to 615. We're at our zero start point. And uh, we're ready to go. I'm waiting for the one to come around. Here it comes. 
Here comes one, and we're in. Our first pass. Stopping the undercut. There you go. You just saw the first pass made. Let's see if we can uh, zoom in here a little bit. Oh, not there it is. There you go. That's our first pass. So I'm not going to show you every pass. I'm just going to bring it to my minor diameter, and then we'll bring you back and show you a completed muzzle thread. We're almost at our finish. Um, we're getting pretty damn close. That uh, was a 595 cut. And now we're sitting at 6587. Our finished number, what I chose, is right here. 584. That, that's the number I'm shooting for. So let's go over here and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a 587, and then we'll do a, a 4,000 pass or a 3,000 pass to get our finish. So we're at zero, our start point, 587. And here we go. One's coming around. Engagement. Stopping the undercut. Back out past the thread so we don't hit it on the way out. Back to zero. This can be a little sensitive getting it to zero. Let's see if I hit it. Nope, went by it. There we are, right on zero. Now we're going to do our five. 584 coming up. The 584. Sometimes you get, it's hard to get this drove within two tenths. 583. See if we can do it. No. We'll go 584 two. That'll be good enough. So here we go. This is our finished pass on our thread. Number one's coming around. Actually, it just went by. So here it comes. Get ready to engage. Engagement. This is our finished pass. In our undercut, we're going to back out, move out of the way, and there is our muzzle thread. I don't have anything to screw on here at, at a 5 h 24 So we're just going to have to take my word for it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll thread something at the end of this video, and at the very end, I'll, I'll screw it on. But right now, I don't have anything to even test it, even though I know it's perfect, because I took the care to get my my numbers set up right, and get my drove set up right. So there you go. We now have a 308 barrel. Now we're going to go, go and we're going to chamfer this right here. And a real barrel would have a crown put in it. But we're not going to do that today. I think I'm happy with that. That is a beautiful freaking thread. Look at that. It doesn't get any better, baby. It doesn't get any better. Yep, and again, no dykem. Nice and sharp peaks. Beautiful thread. So there you go. Our 308 is done. Didn't take very long either, did it? Okay. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to go ahead and chamfer this up a little bit. Clean it up. I'm going to pull it out. And we're going to get ready to do a half 28 5.56 millimeter. One of everybody's favorites. I like the 308 myself. I just took our 308 barrel blank out of the lathe. And... I didn't make a, a muzzle device of any sort. I just took a piece of aluminum and, and did a, an ID thread on it to fit this. But here's our, here's our barrel. Let's pretend this is a barrel. 308, uh, three or four stainless steel again. And uh, I'm not sure. Let me see if we can zoom in on this a little bit. See, there you go. Look at that. There's my thread. Straight out of the lathe. I hope that's, that's good enough. So there you go. Let's pretend that's a 308 bore right there. <laughs> but uh, it'll work. This is going to work. So here we go. We're going to test fit. So I did me a, I just did it in a piece of aluminum. This be my, be my uh, muzzle device. This actually like is the back end of a, of a suppressor. So here we go. And here we go. There we go. Very nice. Perfect. Came right out of the lathe. But yeah, I understand. I've been doing this a long time. So I I just get that stuff right because I've, I've been doing it a long time. You know, it's that experience. And uh, that's what everybody gets when they keep ha hammering at something. If you, you start machining, just keep hammering. You're going to get better and better and better and better. And uh, there you go. R308 muzzle thread. That could absolutely 
be a 308. Um, medium heavy barrel, 750 at the at the muzzle. Um, so that's that. Again, I thank you all very much. Please like and subscribe. Um, I threw my email in the description. And uh, if you all want to support the channel, feel free. I'm on Patreon, but I'm not too keen on that yet because they, they want you to do a whole lot of stuff to, to promote your page and all that. And not, I just set, put a Adventures in Machine page up for Patreon. Um, I got my, at my stuff in the, in the description of these videos. But if you want to, great. If not, that's fine too. Um, I'm going to keep hammering and do, do the best I can do here for y'all. But everybody have a great day. Um, I hope your work week's going well. And uh, I'm going to go in and get myself something to eat. I've been going at this for a while here and uh, just screwing around out here in the shop. But I'm getting pretty hungry now and, and uh, it's time for me to go eat. So again, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. We got some pretty cool stuff coming up. So everybody have a great day.